Hi guys, how's it going? Let me just adjust this. How are you all doing? I thought we'd have a bit of fun today and we'll put get some extra content up there on the channel and we'll have a bit of fun. This just popped into my head a couple of weeks ago. I was thinking about this week and how so much of my attitudes towards certain things in the wet shaving community have changed. Um, and then I thought, do you know what? Um, people who sporadically watch my videos or something or some people may wonder why or some people so i thought let's have a shaving oscars and what this is guys this is the first annual john shaves 101 oscars right what we're going to do i'm going to just highlight to you a couple of things in my wet shaving journey this year that have actually jumped out and uh, kind of made me rethink what i thought previously bit of fun Let's see where we go. Come on. Okay, first off, what we're going to go with. So we go with the razor blade. Um, I've tried several German blades. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of German blades at all. I got these for the channel for variety uh, and was absolutely blown away by them. Super sharp, super smooth, good shaver. I wish I'd bought more. Can okay, any guesses? Any guesses? Here it is. Yeah. Shit blades. If you haven't tried them, guys, give them a go. If you have tried them, let me know what you think. So that's the blades. The balm. Come on. Any guesses on what the standout balm of the year is now? I get a lot of guys watch my videos week in, week out. I think you regular guys will know. This isn't my favourite stuff of all time. This is the stuff probably new to me this year that sat up and made me cough in all categories. And uh, so the balm, come on, any guesses? There you go, Floyd. This is good stuff. Floyd, the genuine aftershave balm. balm. It says a vetiver splash. It is a cream. It smells like vetiver. It's absolutely beautiful, guys. Absolutely lovely. I'll be getting some more of that soon because it's what happens, I might get two or three because you just know that's going to get discontinued, don't you? Because it's light and it's popular, but to somebody sat somewhere in an office, sack it off. So, so I'm going to be getting some more of those soon. Okay, the razor. The razor was gifted to me by Mark Davis. Thank you, Mark. Um, any guesses? Uh, I've got a couple of razors by this manufacturer. Um, but wasn't expecting this one to be quite as good and as well made and as good looking and as good a shaver as it was. Any guesses on the razor, standout razor of the year for me? Okay, do you know what it is now? That's the Yaki Final Cut V3. There it is. Thank you very much, Brian. This is an exceptional little shaver. I'd seen shavers getting this and I wanted to get it. But I'll be honest with you guys. I thought, is it, is it, I wasn't sure whether or not it was worth paying for. I'll be honest with you. Uh, but I was wrong. It is. It is worth paying for. It's well worth the money. Well balanced. Good weighted razor. Absolutely phenomenal adjustment on it. And it, it gave a cracking shave. Absolutely wonderful. The brush, come on. Any ideas on the uh, Oscar for best brush? How the best brush is going to... This brush, guys, before I go any further, before I say any more, this, this brush um, completely and utterly changed my view on badger brushes. Uh, I've got a renewed zeal and a renewed love for badger brushes, and it's solely down to this one. It was gifted to me amongst many, many things that have been gifted to me from Frank Shaving. And there it is. This is the Frank Shaving 26 or 27 millimeter, um, what's it, silver tip finest. Um, I can't remember what it was, but it's absolutely phenomenal. Badger brush that, guys. And it offered up, it's rich, it's dense, it's smooth, it lets go of the lather. Absolutely phenomenal. And like I say, phenomenal. And like I say, it changed the game for me on badgers. And I've bought a couple of other badger brushes that I'm going to use in upcoming videos. 
They might supplant this, I don't know, but this is the one so far this year that made me sit up and take notice. Um, and there you go, that was it. Okay, so we've had razor, blade, balm, brush. What about the cream? What about the cream? This was another gift. This was gift, this cream was gifted to me by a gentleman called Brian Mooney, I think he's called. Uh, he comments it's B Money. Is it B Money? Or B Mooney? Uh, so you'd think I'd know, wouldn't you, after he'd been so generous to I'm so sorry. It's Dad Brain. But now, I have got several rose scents, and they're all nice. They're all nice. Uh, but you can tell they're a synthetic rose scent. Now, I'll just very briefly tell you when I was a child, we lived up the road from a car garage, car mechanics garage. And I don't know why, but this garage, this, this um, what would you call it, mechanics place, it was big and it was completely surrounded by rose bushes. Deep, dark red roses and pink roses would grow all the way around this thing. And we couldn't go anywhere. As a child, I would say I passed this place at least twice a day every day for the first 12 years of my life and we would I would always pick a rose from my mother and sometimes I would pick a rod, rose and I would crush it into my hands and smell it absolutely beautiful rose so I know what natural rose smells like and this one guys if you like rose scents this one is a no-brainer it was gifted to me and here it is can you see it Haley's Haley's Artisan Rose. There you go. Absolutely wonderful, guys. The most natural smelling rose scented soap I've ever encountered. Don't know a lot about the Artisan, but that's the stuff right there. I know they're on Instagram. That was on Etsy. Google them, see what you can find out. But that's up. It's all gone now. I had to do that because uh, Ryan sent me a little bit and I've used it. And it was absolutely wonderful, wonderful scented soap. So thanks to you guys out there for giving me the opportunity to try this stuff. Thanks. Please click like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your standout product was from John Shares 101 this year. Hey, let me know if we'll do this again next November. Look after yourselves and each other. I'm going to film the shave later and I will see you then. Bye.